Welcome, I have just downloaded Pingui OS 18.04 full long-term support. It's in, based on Ubuntu and it has, um, well, we're going to check if the Sardi and the Surfing icons are okay. So let's boot it up. We have some choices here. Maybe we could in the meantime look for Let's see. Pingui OS. Because using a computer is meant to be easy. So this is the website. You can take a look. It's based on Ubuntu frame. And, um, well, I suppose you can read so about us and news, you just check it out. And I got the download from here, Direct 64 bit, support stuff, contribute, and our sponsors. We're waiting for it to boot. We already have a mouse. It's a live installer, so we show, we see what we'll get. And there are some applications already that we know and others that we need to explore, settings that we need to change. Um, the variety is there as well. But let's just install it and that is always better. Staying live doesn't really, here is variety. Staying live is not really an, an option. So English, yeah, good. Continue. Choose your keyboard. Belgian. Oh, that one. The mouse is, is a, a lefty mouse, I guess. Download updates, not necessary. We're in VirtualBox. Erase disk. Go ahead. Continue. Brussels is fine. And then. Eric and login automatically. Maybe we want to see what happens as the first screen, the login screen or display manager. See how it looks. While this is doing its thing, let's have a look. Let's maybe change the wallpapers already. So we get this wallpaper. It's coming from Flickr at this point. That's a good idea. What preferences does he use? So the things I use to get rid of are these guys they never produce any good wallpapers i think it's of course a personal matter and we tweak it also to have our big at least 80 percent so that the wallpapers that you get are for for the proper resolution of your screen and that's it close and then we can do a next or maybe I guess I guess this is a nice wheel <laughs> but doesn't mean okay he has changed the wallpaper anyway but just wait and uh, stop doing things and see I'll wait for the installation I'm gonna pause the video here at this point in time we are installing everything and we'll Wait for the installation. And we're there. Installation has finished. We are going to restart. So what I said earlier on, it's best actually to test operating systems on an SSD and not in VirtualBox, but you know how it is. Please remove, then press enter. I can press all I want since I'm in VirtualBox. He does not know so I'm gonna okay this, shut it down. This is empty. So now I'm gonna boot from Grub. I've seen they use Grub and it looks like this. All right, let's go. Now 
Now I have a normal mouse, it's not left pointing to the, well it's pointing to the left so it's for a right handed. In the installation it was left handed. It's like it knows I'm right handed. And then, let's have a look, first look around. So, applications, we have here archive manager. Maybe let's do it with accessories. Let's start by FileBot. Oops, it's gone again. FileBot, TV and movie renamer. Some files, the GNOME Do, image viewer. This is uh, Mate, so a different calculator from a different desktop environment. Play on Linux for Wine. Pluma. Uh, also Mate, I think it is. Shutter. Stacer, which is a very nice thing actually. So I'm gonna show you already. Beautiful, right? All nice in design. Super. Okay, that's Stacer. And variety we know. And we love it. Steam is installed. Clicking will update everything, Eric. Okay, whatever. Let it update. And graphics. Ebook viewer. L -L -L LRF. Sunny ebook format. Pinta. Photo downloader. Shot well. Simple scan. Graphics. Internet. Another uh, torrenter. There's probably a lot out there. Discord to chat, Dropbox, empathy, chatting again, Java, connect to the remote desktops, something like a VNC or TeamViewer, Skype, Teams, Team is working here, TeamViewer is also installed, Telegram is there, and XChat is here, XChat is, uh, yeah, is that one. And then what do we have? Telegram maybe we can see something. Did I miss it? Telegram. Okay. Not today. And then there he is. Just took a time. So messaging. It's also on iPhone and on Android. You can use it. It's an app like WhatsApp, something like that. What this I saw, okay, Office. So Calibre is to read, um, how, what extension is it again? So these book files on, on these ebook readers, you can open and uh, manage the book files with Calibre. And ebook editor, so we can edit things, all the LibreOffice stuff. And that's something I know, WX Banker. Okay, transactions you can do. WX Banker, Simple Personal Finance. Nah, I have no money. No need for an application like that. Plex is something special. I don't see this often on a uh, system. Plex Media Manager. It's like um, some kind of streaming within your own home network. So you have um, a video in, in the Mac server and 10 meters away you want to watch that video from there. So you can stream it from one place to the other. So that's more or less the idea, I guess. I've used it whew, 10 years ago, maybe five years ago. I don't know. I've had completely forgotten about it since I um, was in my days when I was still on the Mac. Oracle, sound video, Clementine, we know, file bots, uh, we've seen it. GTK pods for your Apple iPod, guys who want that. So handbrake conversion of applications of um, videos uh, open shot to edit and music vlc and then we have the system tools bleach bits boot repair i can recommend it this i've uh, helped people with it i've helped myself with it so if you have a dual boot or a triple boot or stuff like that and everything goes wrong well this is the name to remember it's an iso you can boot it and you can write on a usb as well I think 
and then you boot it, boot from it and you can repair your um, your system so you can again act uh, again get to your data Pingui Builder, I don't know what this is Pingui, I don't know how to pronounce it Backup complete system data including user that's nice but I believe that's something specific of um, Ubuntu or for Debian in general this is an application that exists only as at this point in time on, on Debian which is nice of course you can build your own ISO on the basis of uh, a system so maybe someday maybe it will come to Arch Linux so all those PPA things I've had this in Linux Mint as well and then scroll down USB flasher what's that choose an image uh, flash it and you can I guess you can check it as well to see if it's correct Whoa, what did something wrong must have told him to lock or something okay not sure what's happening pausing and maybe rebooting Okay, can't seem to fix it, so I'm going to press the right control and then F2. In VirtualBox, this should work. So it's strange. That doesn't work either. No. I think I really need to control F this thing and say power off. And let's investigate the Sardi icons and the surfing icons. But it's an interesting thing to see that lots of applications that uh, users, I guess contemporary users, will find attractive. The only thing that's missing is a WhatsApp tool and maybe some kind of Twitter tool. Didn't see that, but basically there are applications in here that are that might interest other people as well. They say, oh yeah, does it exist? Do we have that? What does that do? It will spike their interest, like their curios curiosity. That's what I wanted to say. It will spike it. There's an, this one, that one. Okay. Four wallpapers, meaning four desktops, of course. Um, okay. Let's go to the internet. This gen is the internet. The icons. One thing. Uh, surf and icons. Let's see what comes out. Because we are searching with. I don't know what. Download zip. Done. Okay. And then. So ping OS. Sardi. Sardi. The third one, I accept it, files, I always go this way, so I'm sure I'm getting the latest, check your server, it's United Kingdom, that's not far away, that's good, and one more, one more, and one more, and that is the heart code fixer from Fogelong. Very grateful he's doing all this work. So if you have an icon that it never changes, then you need to report it to this GitHub. Okay, three elements, that's all I need to test. Places, downloads. Right mouse click, extract here, right mouse click, extract here, and right mouse click, extract here. First, we are going to get the, we're going to wait, that's what we're going to do first. 
to be sure everything is unpacked okay let's make it a bit bigger ah double clicking makes it go away i wanted to maximize Control a Control x eric right mouse click show hidden files that's good dot icons does not exist create new folder dot icons and control V that's that open a new tab so that one is empty okay so the icons are there this is all for my github to administer it get away so control A Control X will move that over here. And the last thing is going to be our downloads, our uh, hardcode fixer. But let's first change our look. Good question. Where should we change our look? We have here a button. And we won't be able to do it here. This is the GNOME settings. There must be some tweak. Can we type it? The week, tweaks, the GNOME tweak tool. Pingui. All right, Pingui. Yeah, all right. Let's go for Sardi Mono Flexible this time. It's all blue, it should be all changing into blue icons. And if anything is missing, if anything is not there let's change the wallpaper again then we can um, check it out and then write it up and make a to-do list let's use all applications so boot repair needs to be checked cover thumbnailer dvdng but there is a but um, where is my places downloads for some reason it's not responding as fast as other systems um, what is it again fix them now this is wrong Control c Control c come on see it's not responding the way i want it or as fast as i want it so fix as H. It's always better to install an SSD. And there we go. Boot repair is fixed. Oh, it's gone. What did I do? So, aha. So Telegram is already fixed. Boot repair is fixed. HP printer. Four icons have been fixed without me doing anything. That's the best part. So we need to look for all right we need to look for the user share ah, i can't type share this is pretty slow but i'm very enthusiastic about the choice of applications very much so no sorry not the icons of course but i want to go to check if the icons are okay and that you do in here so this one needs to be done so I'm gonna write it down as we investigate it unfortunately I don't have an editor of some kind ah blue is good blue is good so we need I uh, I can't double click and I it must be I suppose it's hidden somewhere now in here okay got it i can s so i need to make an for this icon and this naming i should make this one so i'm gonna put it on github sardi so i'll do it uh, in a few months time okay that's been done that's uh, on github where are my places now 
really getting to grips with this environment. This one is not correct. So I need to go for other applications and then say OK. So I need icons for Calibre ebook edit. OK, I've written down all the things that need to be created. I have one, two, three, let's say it's DVD, DVD, Calibre, Calibre Viewer, Builder, Java, Popsicle, WD Banker and Team Viewer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to be created. Now there are things I've not re yet written in here. So let's have a look again and, and overview it. Uh, this one I forgot. That's a good thing to overview it again. So Pluma. Yeah, this we might be able to fix. This is of course uh, the wrong way to code and uh, and, and, and well an application or icon for an application. Um, the thing is cover thumbnailer. What does this do? Let's double click. So it's gonna. Is it for CDs or something? Music folders? Enable cover thumbnail for music folders. Ah yeah, okay. So if you have a music folder, you want to uh, put a cover on it for, for I don't know what kind of uh, group, then you'll have, to have this image on this folder. Okay. So that's basically something we probably need to create. Um, so let me pause the video again and write it on the GitHub. Okay, let's continue. So that's written down. So let's go right, road, uh, um, I just say, uh, row by row, that's it. Um, so this is written down, done that, done that. Written down, let's check anyway. LRF No, let's pause LRF is pointing to the same icon that I have already written down so that's okay Done that done that This Oracle things will never see in the menu. I don't think so anyway. I've written it down Portal No idea what this this is but it has an icon Okay, doesn't do anything. Python is not important if it does not uh, change. We don't see it in our menus. This one is, um, there was an issue with this one, I think. Oops. So, other applications. So, it's best not to use any hard-coded icons. This is not the way to go, since it will never change. And the GTK Orphan. We'll probably need to create that as well. But this path should be gone and the PNG would be gone. And then everything would be fine if you change your icons. Before you misunderstand me, maybe this hard-coded path has nothing to do with uh, uh, Penguin Pingui OS here. It's uh, the programmers, the application guys, the engineering guys who make these applications. They put the hard-coded paths in there, not Pingu OS, not Ubuntu, not Linux Mint. It's it's the engineers, the programmers. Team viewer has been written down. We can fix USB flasher if we want to already, and this needs to be created. So just one example how to fix it. Let's see if I can open this. Um, open with scripts. Let's see. I'm not. Think, I don't think I can use Pluma without being sudo. It will just say I can't not save it. I don't seem to be able to open it as root with any of these applications. Can give it a try. Type something. 
like you see I can't type anything that's not possible I don't think there is any tool in Pluma to say hey go overwrite it anyway no so what I wanted to share you with you is if um, the icon doesn't exist you can rename it and in my case in Sardi I think it's USB stick or USB formatter we have to check it out it's uh, still open on this screen let's see USB so there are lots of USB icons to choose from USB creative GTK and all that so one of those will be just fine um, I don't think mint stick is there as well mint wait mint mint min, minecraft yeah but um, the mint stick is here so it depends what kind of icon you would like to have this popsicle replaced or i should have ma make another popsicle icon but i guess i will not this is actually not a popsicle it's a usb so yeah that's it basically that's uh, what i've written down for work what to, what to do for uh, to give this this os a complete look with sardi and the other thing is of course surfing but there it's not that obvious that icons are um, missing um the tweaks the tweaks so you see, when you see this movie or this video you say okay i'm gonna install this on ssd not on virtualbox because it's not really um well fast then it really doesn't pay off installing it here it's really getting slow now so this is another look i don't think i can do that then like this i just drag this from there to there I think I clicked on the menu all right let's help it a little bit okay power down restart don't worry about these things install it on your machine hard disk SD not every system works well on the virtual machines it's never intended to work there anyway all right let's have a look so this is a complete other look we have sardi and the surfing icon surfing in this um, set it will not be so obvious that there are missing icons since they're all colorful they all blend in doesn't really matter uh, because of uh, well there's no strict design into the icons so we can have anything really so that always will look nice we should go to this one no that's not a way to do it places then home file system oh, I shouldn't double click it I'm so used to double click and then drag up that works user share uh, applications so this is the bunch of applications that's already installed and as you see if you just cruise through all the icons it just looks okay but you know already that there are icons that are just not coming from the theme it's they're coming from the hard-coded path from the programmer the software engineer but in this case you won't notice so that's Pingui for you um, do have a look it gives us some indication of some cool applications that's why I would say go and have a look because there are applications in here that I think you'll be interested in. All right, cheers.